BJ ride together, it's something special. Because she's riding on a horse of her own. Allie treats BJ like he were one of the family. And, well, she should. Horses need a lot of care. But she didn't know that a year or so back. All she knew was she had caught the bug. I love him. The horse bug. And once that gets in your system, you got it for keeps. Allie wanted to ride and to learn everything she could about horses. Almost every day, she'd be at the local stable watching and asking questions. She learned a lot from her friend Jennifer, who had her own horse. What's that, about two quarts, Allie? Yeah? Good, that looks good. There's a lot of work involved in owning a horse, but Jennifer showed her it could be a lot of fun, too. Step up on the block. Put your foot in the stirrup, then you're gonna okay. sort of stand up a little bit okay. once you get your foot in, and then you're gonna swing the other leg over and you're gonna sit on his back. Quiet, don't like do a thumb. Now put your foot in a little bit more because you're gonna slide out. Good, hold, <laughs> sit up. Okay. You got him? Wait, no. Hang on. <laughs> Allie learned about different kinds of horses and styles of riding. The riding instructor at the stable, Robin, showed her a demonstration of Western rain riding. saw how these horses were trained for short bursts of speed, quick turns, and fast stops. Try not to bounce so much to the canter, Allie. Allie rode the stables horses and took lessons from Robin. Look where you're going. Fix those feet. See if you can get your heel down. Turn your head, Allie. Look. <laughs> it wasn't always easy, but Allie worked hard. And her folks began to realize that their daughter was pretty serious about this horse business. And very serious about the one thing she wanted more than anything else. Her mother and I feel that Allie's shown a real interest in riding, not just a passing fancy. So the deal was that we would look into buying a horse only if she kept up in her schoolwork. We're talking a solid B average. Right. So I figured it's time to find out what's involved in buying and owning a horse. Well, owning a horse is a lot of fun. Besides that, it's a big responsibility. Allie's gonna have to count on two or three hours a day after school to ride and care for this horse. Now, finding the right horse is real important. It has to match Allie in ability, as well as suitor in size and temperament. I'd like to get an idea of what kind of expenses are involved. Well, the purchase price will depend on the horse. And then there'll be costs for equipment, like the saddle and the bridle. And then there's a lot of fixed costs, like the board, lessons, blacksmith, and veterinary care of the horse. How important is veterinary care? Very. Dr. Bradley's here right now. I'm sure he'd be happy to talk to you. Fine, let's do that. Dr. Bradley. Oh, hi, Rob. I'd like to meet Mr. Douglas. Hi, Mr. Dr. Douglas, how are you, sir? And of course, you know Allie. Hi, hi Allie. The Douglases are thinking about buying a horse. Oh, really? They'd like to talk to you about the medical care involved. Sure. The most important thing, the thing you absolutely must do, is, is have a pre-purchase exam performed on the horse. What's involved in a pre-purchase examination? We do a general physical examination and then watch the horse under tack. That gives us some idea as to his soundness. Sometimes if the course of the examination dictates so, we might do some extra laboratory work or do some uh, radiographic studies of the feet or limbs. And what about after we buy the horse? There's a fair amount of routine work involved, worming, dental care, vaccinations. And of course, if the horse becomes ill or injured, we're there for that kind of care, too. I believe that kind of sums it up. And I think we've covered just about everything, unless you have any other questions. Well, I guess there's nothing else to do but look for a horse. Really? Yeah. It looked like Allie's dream was about to come true. But finding the right horse wasn't so easy. With Robin's help, they saw a lot of different horses. What do you think, Robin? Oh, he's wonderful. 
But he's really much too much horse for Allie right now. Really? Others were too small. One was a bit old and sluggish, not right for the kind of riding Allie was doing. Still, others were too big and powerful. And a few were far too expensive. The search went on for a long time, and Allie was beginning to wonder if they'd ever find the right horse. Then, in a stable across town, they found Bandit. It's great, I love it. Bandit was perfect for Allie, and the Douglases were happy they took the time and found a terrific horse. But they remembered Dr. Bradley's suggestion, and before buying him, they had the veterinarian give him a thorough examination. They wanted to make sure Bandit was completely sound and didn't have some medical problem that might turn up later on. Dr. Bradley first checked Bandit for any physical problems or signs of disease. Then he observed Bandit while Allie rode him, watching for any difficulty the horse might have while being ridden. Okay, now change your diagonal. Okay, Allie, I'm gonna draw some blood from him. We're just gonna test for a viral disease called infectious anemia. And, uh, it won't hurt him. Finally came the lab tests. Bandit's blood would be checked for disease and his legs x-rayed to look for problems that might not be noticed at first. That's where they found it. Yes, Mr. Douglas. The horse was generally sound under tack, although maybe a little short strided in front. Yeah. But the x-rays demonstrated some severe degeneration of the very small bones in his front feet. What's that going to mean? Well, it may mean nothing. But on the other hand, if the horse will work consistently, he may have some potential lameness difficulties. Thank you, doctor. I think we're going to have to give this purchase more consideration. Thank you, doctor. So, what did Dr. Radley say? I'm afraid we got a problem, Allie. It was a big disappointment, but Allie was riding quite a bit now, and Bandit might have ended up lame. So they thought it best not to buy him and start looking again. Look at it. Look at it. Don't look away. In the meantime, Allie was becoming quite a rider. She was learning how to jump now and thought that if she ever got a horse of her own, maybe they'd be good enough to enter a horse show. Staring. The chance came sooner than anyone expected. Allie, come with me. Get your hat and chaps. Why? What's up? You'll see. Okay. You can finish up in here, Jen. What are you kidding? Oh wow, it's BJ. Yep, it sure is. He just came up for sale. I know how much you like him. I thought maybe you'd like to have a ride on him. No. That's why I told you to get your hat and chaps. Great. Okay. When you hop on him, you want to be pretty light. He's a little more sensitive than what you're used to. So I'm going to give you a leg up on three. I want you to really sit light, okay? One, two, three. And just easy with him, all right? He's a little more sensitive than the horse you're used to riding. Okay. <laughs> Stop him and get your stirrups. And organize. Now just let him walk away. That a girl. Now nice, loose rein. Sit light, keep looking ahead, bend him a little off the inside leg. That's very good. You look very nice on him. From the moment Allie was in that saddle, it was obvious BJ was the horse for her. She spent a lot of time with him over the next few weeks, just getting acquainted. All that was left was to get Dr. Bradley's medical report. And after what happened last time, Allie was a little bit nervous. Allie, Dr. Bradley just called about BJ. BJ was hers, and you couldn't find a happier young girl. After working so hard and learning so much about horses, Allie was finally getting a chance to use what she learned on a horse of her own. Allie and BJ 
A.J. were together every day. He gets four on the outside, three on the inside. When they weren't riding, she always made sure he was getting the best possible care. As Allie's riding improved, it looked like she'd be ready for the stable's annual horse show, something she'd dreamed of for a long time. She and B.J. practiced all the time. But then, with only a few weeks left, it happened. How are you? Come on. I sure don't see anything. I think we better call Dr. Bradley. Fine, I'll go call him. Now, there's nothing to be upset about. He's got a relatively minor abscess in his foot. We're going to keep him on antibiotics and pain relievers for a few days, and I'll be back around to check him. But he's going to be all right. Sure, you'll make it to that horse show. With Dr. Bradley's care, BJ had a good shot at recovering before the show. But no one could tell for sure, and there was no way Allie would risk riding BJ if he weren't fully recovered. All they could do was wait and see. All the riders at the stable look forward to the horse show because it gives them a chance to show their family and friends the pride they take in their riding and maybe do a little bit of showing off. It looked as though Allie would have to wait until next year's show. But with Dr. Bradley's help, BJ surprised everyone. Allie discovered a lot about horse care and about riding. And she'll continue to learn as long as her love of horses keeps her in the saddle. But most importantly, she learned that though a horse is to be respected for its power and beauty, it takes a dedicated owner to keep it healthy and strong. With that knowledge, Allie and BJ should be a team for a long time to come. <laughs>